Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 29 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to execute one ADF pipeline from another ADF pipeline via REST API call. So let's see the requirement in details. So we will run an ADF pipeline with the help of REST API endpoint. To call this REST API endpoint, we will use web activity in another ADF pipeline. So the method that we need to use is post method and we will discuss about all the configuration in details when we will jump into the demo part. So this is the REST API endpoint that we need to use and here we need to provide the details like subscription ID, resource group name and then data factory name and the pipeline name which we need to trigger and this is the API version that we need to use in order to make the REST API call. So let's directly jump into the demo part. So let's create a new pipeline and let's call the web activity where we will use the REST API endpoint in order to trigger another pipeline. So let me copy the URL from the PPT. So this is the URL that we need to call. So I have copied that and uh, before pasting it here, let me write the same in a notepad so that we can make the necessary changes. So here we need to give the subscription details. So here we need to replace all these values. So let me go to the Azure portal and let me get all the details and let me replace it here. So this is the subscription ID and then resource group name. So this is also copied. And then the data factory name is anu-adf. So let me replace that as well, anu-adf. And then pipeline name. So let me remove this and let's go to the ADF portal. And here what I will try to run is, I'll try to run a simple pipeline. So this pipeline name is set value. So let me write the same here in the pipeline name option. So this is the pipeline name and our REST API URL is ready now. So this is what we will use in the web activity. So let me copy this and let me paste it here directly. So now the method that we need to use is post method. And once we select the post method, it gives us the body option. So here we need to pass something in a JSON. Okay. So either you can directly give uh, the curly braces, but if you see this pipeline that we are going to trigger, it has a parameter. So whenever we try to debug it, it will ask for the value of this parameter. So since we are triggering this pipeline via REST API, so we need to pass the value of this parameter in the body section. Okay. So let me copy this parameter name. And here we will create the JSON using that parameter name and value. So here let me give under quotes param this is the key and then what will be the value so here we can give the value okay in a string format because the parameter is of type string so i am giving the value inside double quotes as a string so for authentication we are going to use system assigned managed identity and in the resource we need to provide this url so let me copy this and let me paste it here. So this basically means that we are going to access this resource when we are doing this post request call. Okay. So you can read through the information present here. The Azure service or the resource that you want to access or manage needs to be provided here. And for example, you have, uh, if you are calling Microsoft Graph, then you need to provide this API URL as the resource. And if you're uh, using some Azure Management API, then you need to use management.azure.com. So that's what we are using here. Okay. So we are good. Uh, we can trigger this pipeline now and we will see that uh, after debugging this pipeline, uh, that is pipeline 44, let me rename it as call other ADF pipeline. Okay. So once we debug this pipeline, it should actually trigger this set value pipeline and the output should be this one that is anu okay so let me debug this pipeline 
so we are expecting that this pipeline will succeed since it is just putting a request okay so it is succeeded as you can see and if we go to the monitor section we can see the triggered and debug run okay so it is showing the last 24 hours uh, pipeline execution details so you can see in the debug section we can see this pipeline which we just created to call another pipeline so the execution details are coming under debug section because we manually debugged the pipeline and we did not trigger it so if we could have done this add trigger by publishing the pipeline it will be coming under triggered part but since we have done the debug of the pipeline so it is coming under debug execution so if we go to the triggered run you can see even though we have not triggered this pipeline by ourselves it has created this execution details because the debugged pipeline has actually called this set value pipeline so let's go into the execution details and let's see if the output is coming as expected or not so you can see the variable value is anu this is what we had given in the body section so we are successfully able to execute an adf pipeline via rest api call and now i am going to run another uh, pipeline which is called uh, sort array element so here if you see uh, whatever array value we will provide while debugging this pipeline it will be sorting that array elements okay so this is what is expected but here you can see the parameter is of array data type so we need to give the parameter value as an array so what is the parameter name it is input array so let me copy that so instead of param1 i will give input array value and here in the value we will provide an array so let me give the value as suppose we want to sort uh, 52 91 and 2 so these are the three uh, numbers that i am going to sort so the output should be 2 52 then 91 okay and uh, we also need to make the changes in url because the pipeline name should be changed so instead of set value i will give sort array elements so now we are good to run this pipeline so once i hit on debug it will create the execution details in triggered section for sort array elements pipeline so let's wait for the execution so you can see this has triggered uh, the web activity and it is in progress so let's go to the monitor section directly and let's hit on refresh and uh, let's see the debug pipeline yeah so the other run is done so you can see this is in progress sort array elements is in progress let's wait so you can see the execution is going on so it will do three iterations because we have given three values so it is going to sort it and we will check the end result so let's wait until the pipeline execution is finished yeah so the pipeline execution is completed now you can see here cancel option is disabled so it means it is completed so let's check the final output so you can see the array has been sorted successfully so we are good now uh, so we have successfully executed one adf pipeline via rest api call from another adf pipeline with the help of web activity so since the pipeline that we executed and the pipeline through which we uh, performed the rest api call is within the same adf we did not needed any extra permission but suppose if the pipeline that we need to trigger is in another ADF instance and, uh, and we are sending out the post request from other ADF, then we need certain permissions that we are going to talk in the next video. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you find it helpful. Please stay tuned with the channel and please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.